So I came here to give Lombard's Ultimate a very big, huge performance boost. Here's how can how, how can you do it. First, you can do that. If you don't know how to do that, let me know in the comments below. You can do it in the, in the game menu. So turn off vSync first. Then go to the file that is called settings.json. The location is, I'm going to put this in the description also. It's on your Steam data folder, Steam apps, common, Lomond's Ultimate, user data player. I'm going to put that in the description so you can find your own. The Steam data folder, it can be anywhere. It depends on one where you put it. Usually it's on a C drive, but, or you can just uh, right click on Steam and you can also get directed to the file location there. Just check out the B-roll for that. I'm going to also put this in the comments below so you can get details. On the just settings.json file, you'll just right click it and open it with notepad. Again, the B-roll will show you more how to do that. Find the max frame rate setting, okay? Find the max frame rate setting and set it to your most comfortable frame rate. Usually, usually you, you put this on the monitor's refresh rate for, for better results. You can put it higher and test, but I highly recommend to put it on the uh, your monitor's refresh rate if you can achieve those kind of FPS. So it means that if your monitor it's a 120 hertz display, you should be able to process or to output 120 frames per second in your system. Or if your computer is not able to do so, so basically match the refresh rate to 50 refresh to 50 FPS, 144 refresh. 144 fps that's kind of ideal if you cannot do that just get it to something that you know that the computer can handle like 75 80 fps you, you should try to find it out if you want to go to a, 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 a very safe route get it around 75 and it should be should should be fine so to review turn off vsync go to the file open the json file with notepad find the max frame rate setting and put it to a comfortable frame rate that you, your, your computer can process if you can match the monitor refresh rate, great. If not, set it to 75, 80, and you should also, it's also a very comfortable frame rate to play the game or the simulator if you want to call it a sim. If you want to call it a game, call it a game. This is going to give you a massive performance boost and more stability in the game or in the sim. And if you want to go to the spend some money route, you can get an X3D Ryzen CPU that will give you a, also a huge performance boost around 30 to 40 fps easily if you don't follow this set these steps and i assure you you'll have a very more comfortable experience a performance boost and more stable fps and a more comfortable seeming experience i can subscribe to the helps